in broad strokes. Yeah, it gets shortened a little bit, but... Yeah, you don't want it to stick out that far? It's because it's yeah. not square. It's the right... It's the right um, dimension. Dimension, it's actually shorter. Like it doesn't cool. stick out as much, it's just because the corner is not square. So it's a family friendly broadcast. Well, good job, Bean. What are you building? A perch. <laughs> a child perch. <laughs> Shaped in an imperfect tombstone. Curvy in all the right ways. It's not small. That looks small. Do you want to? I'll tell you what. Set it on the floor. Hold on. Casper, go sit on it. Dad, it's so small. Let you catch a child. It's so small. Great, it's small. It's gonna be cozy. And well, it'll have a nice cushion, and then you can put some pillows up there. It's a one-person perch. Maybe two. Possibly I'm two, sure we'll you see. Can squeak two of you in there. Yeah, but then my feet foot will Well be your feet that's okay. You can stick your legs out the end. It's not gonna hurt anyone. How? Because there's gonna be nothing in the way. It'll have an opening. Oh good. So where you can sit. And that's actually the part that's gonna be the back. So you would be turned face the other way. Trust the process, my friend. No, this the will process. be the front. Well you can sit like that, that's fine. Wait, and and can who's I make the window? Yeah, sure. Who's really gonna enjoy it? This guy. <laughs> Goofball. Oh, you have mittens on. That's nice. I love your mittens. Soup, soup. So, Bean. While Peter is in the garage working on stuff, I'm obviously supervising the children to facilitate him doing garage work. I'm in like my Sunday comfies. I have a bunch of oil in my hair and on my scalp. I don't know if you can tell. So I have it like just, it's like a, an unscented, like a sweet almond oil. Uh, it's just because my scalp's been really dry lately. So I went in and I, um, like parted it all and I squirted oil in there and massaged it in and I've just wrapped my hair up because I'm gonna leave it all day and wash it tonight. Um, and I'm folding literal mountains of laundry. Casper and Bean were playing with pearly beads um, and they're just, you know, being a giant mess maker team. Sir? Casper, you're fine, hun. I can. I saw you. Had your feet way up in the air, and you were surfing on your belly. Almost done folding the boys' laundry, and then I gotta move my laundry over to the dryer because I'm pretty sure it's done. Then when that's done, I will fold that. Hopefully, it all gets put away at some point. It's a beautiful sunny day. It is cold outside. It's only gonna be like I think a high of two today, so it's cold. But Cass, why are the pearly beads unattended? Because I'm getting another power. Okay. Um, Felix has got the zoomies and we're gonna try and go for a walk later because sunshine cold But sunshine so we'll all just put on like winter coats and tubes and stuff Are you building beans? Yeah. I love that Which kind is that? Oh fun Hey friends, it's voiceover Sarah. So I'm just letting you know that Peter is just double checking that his measurements are good to go. He's also going to measure out where the studs are. By measure, I mean he's going to figure out where the studs are. And he's going to be screwing those two by fours into the wall, into the studs in multiple places so that this perch is going to have epic support. Also, he does end up painting everything. Nobody panics. So everything gets painted bright white. So same as all of our trim. And uh, as we go, he's just doing bit by bit. This was all done over the course of one weekend with a couple finishing touches done like after dinner in the evenings, just so that it would be up and running and the boys could enjoy it and Felix would get a bunch of time before his surgery, which is on Monday. Are you helping Dada? Yes. yes. Bean, you're such a good helper. Yes. Are you gonna make sure it's really level? Gotta level the crumbs out of it, my boy. 
Oh, hey, Felix. Oh, nice. Well, that's Bye, Felix. What are you doing, Augie? Help. You're helping? Whoa. <laughs> <laughs> oh! <laughs> Is that scary? Yeah. Here. Just a minute. Right here. Oh. It's a beep. I can see it. Wow. You're helping. Wow. Good job. Ready? Go. Go. Wow. You doing it? The man. The myth. The legend. The debtors. And his friendly neighborhood spider guy. It's a vampire. Hey, are you pretending? <laughs> You're goof. Let's get this ride moving and then off we go to Beckle Hound. To Beckle Hound. What's Beckle Hound? No Did you just make it up? I love that for you. Beckle Hound. Hello. Hi. Good thing I Hi. have this. I'm not lifting you up right now. Mom's been like, go, go, go all day with you guys. Not with me. So this piece that's on the ceiling, it was very, very difficult for Peter to figure out where the studs were. I think because of the texture on the ceiling, it was hard for the stud finder. But uh, we did find one and it one was enough. So this two by four is being screwed into the studs. And this is going to not only give the netting that we're using something to attach to in this area, but also I wanted the front uh, kind of corner to be supported, and this piece will allow us to do that. So level. Um, Bean has it. Bean, Bean, can I have the level, please? Can you bring it, please? Bring the level to Dad. Bring the level to me. Bring the level. Boy. Bring it to Daddy. That he needs be... it. Whoa! No, none of that. No, 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 right, sir. Okay, just bring the. Bring level. the level to Dad, please. Bean. Can you bring this to Daddy, please? He needs it. Can you yep. hand it to Dad? About it, but give me the level. Felix, can you leave Thank the lamp you. alone, please? You, yeah, What's wrong? You What's wrong? Are you upset because you had to give it to Dad? <laughs> He'll give it back. He's gonna give it back. He just needs to make sure it's level, hun. We gotta make sure it's safe, buddy. I know life's real tough, huh? Yeah. Mom. Yes. Augustine. Oh, look, look, look. Hi. Oh, great. It's getting even smaller. What are you talking about? Wait, it's, it's getting, getting smaller. smaller. Yeah, yeah it is. These are making it smaller. Casper. Yeah, the wood's going to come to here. Okay? And it's going to go around like that. But then there's going to be a giant netting space yeah, and no way to get so, out. Okay, well, if there's no way to get out, how do you get in? Exactly. So there's going to be an in and an out. Nobody panic. What is in? We'll find out, won't we? It is a the desk. But I'm the big Sir, man. what are you doing? Augustine, you're going to fall. Don't fall. I'll try to jab himself in. Can you get down, please? Are you going to make a smoothie, Felix? Thanks, Felix. Yes, Bean! Do you need help down? Can you help him down, please, Casper? Yeah. 
Just watch his head. Don't lift him straight up, just forward. Thanks, big bro. What do you say to Casper? Peter had pre-drilled holes for this two by two to go in this spot. And you can see on the opposite corner, there's another two by two kind of vertical piece. These are less for support and more for us to have something to affix the netting to in these two areas so that the non-open area would be completely enclosed and nobody would risk falling out or climbing out or any of that good stuff. So the two by twos are just there to help put the netting in. <laughs> Hey, Purple Man, is it epilepsy day today? Okay. Did everybody at school wear purple for you today? Okay. Okay. <laughs> Peter got netting and these little clips that hold the netting in from Amazon, I believe. And he's just screwing in all of the little clip pieces so that they're all spread out evenly. And then once he's got that all ready to go, he'll be able to attach the netting. He'll just unscrew each one and put a clip on it and then screw it back in. They're all done on the underneath and the outside edges so that nobody scratches their fingers. Opa. Opa. Yeah? What's this? Apple. Apple. Good job, honey. Can you say thank you? Say thank you, Mama. Thank you, Mama. Oh, you're welcome, Bean. Watching. Oh, yeah, I touched the top of my head and I wondered what it was. Sorry. Casper, do you think you could give Bean just a little bit of space there, buddy? Stop. Stop right now. Thank you very much. I need some beanie with a hug. Do you not like my singing? Is that it? You don't like my singing? Mm -hmm. Is my singing okay? Mm -hmm. Is my singing amazing? Yes. Oh, then why did you tell me to stop? Because oh. it did it. Oh, okay. So here you can see Peter is undoing these screws one by one, adding a clip around the thread of the netting. I guess you would call it thread and pulling it so it's relatively taut. You just thread one of those clips on and then you screw it back in. Perfect. Mama Boba. No, I don't want your apple. You apple beans. Dad apple one. I don't think Dad wants your apple either, sweetie. So this is the somewhat finished product. The netting is still kind of hanging there because Peter likes the look of it. We won't discuss that too much further. These cables, they're sort of like the like coated steel. They're attached with these rings. And then the cables, like I think Peter just got everything at the hardware store. These little clips that you put on and tighten it up. And so it's attached to the rings at the top and the bottom. And that is just so that front corner has more than enough support, uh, especially because Felix has a tendency to bounce and jump on things. So this is one of those things where like, did I really think that in my nice family room, I was gonna have this child perch with netting on it? No, but I also didn't think I would have a sensory swing or a trampoline or a crash mat. So I try to think, you know, this is just the way my life is uh, and my kids love it. All three of them can climb in and out of it on their own, no problem. I got a little reading pillow to go up there because Casper likes to go and hide up there and read. Um, so this one's for down here. It's a little like dinosaur or dragon or something. This is like a lumbar pillow that you can remove. 
or like move, but he just leaves it. And then he has a cat one for his bed upstairs. But they climb on, disregard Peter's table. I was mopping floors earlier. They climb up onto the back of the couch, which I know probably doesn't seem safe, but they're climbing machines. So I can't stop them. Uh, and then they pull themselves up into here. Peter was thinking about putting like a little piece there for them to put their feet on. I don't know if he's going to because other than Bean needing help getting out, we're trying to teach him to turn around uh, and slide down on his tummy. But um, the cats also love it, which is great. Personally, um, I would love for all of this netting to be trimmed, but um, Peter says he likes it. <laughs> and because he built it, I'm willing to let it slide. Uh, the netting is held in with those little tiny pieces under there that are all screwed in. It has extra support at the front by way of these um, coated cables. Yeah, it's Mr. Meow gonna go up, you can come up, there he goes. So they're um, screwed in at the top there into the stud. And yeah, um, so like I said, not something I expected my house would have. I didn't think my house was gonna have any of these things, uh, especially not in like what most people would consider their like formal living space. But you know, that's the way the cookie crumbles. My kids love it. And um, I have a very intense sensory seeking child. And if this is gonna make him happy and help him get the sensory input he needs, then I'm gonna do it because do you wanna know what? Eventually they will outgrow it and it will come down and we'll patch up the holes and it will have never existed. And that is okay for now. So we're just gonna roll with it. Otherwise, uh, stay tuned because surgery is on Monday. So surgery number one is on Monday. Today's Felix's last day of school that I'm filming this little outro part. This was built over the course of one weekend with like a couple evenings where Peter like did some finishing touches. Um, and yeah, we're celebrating Casper's birthday the day this video goes live, which is Saturday the 13th of April. It's 10 days before his actual birthday, but with Felix going into the hospital, it's really the best option we have. Um, and hopefully doing family photos on Sunday. And by hopefully, I mean definitely. It's just whether or not they'll be outside or here. Um, I know I haven't been posting much lately. I appreciate your patience. Uh, I know that I say I try to post every Saturday and I definitely don't post every Saturday because mom is friggin' exhausted. Like I am zonked. I have video from Easter that I would love to share with you, but that was already two weekends ago, so probably not going to happen. I think um, coming up, it'll be uh, a lot about Felix's surgeries and how he's doing, how we're doing, um, prognosis, outcomes, etc. Though also, also, I am going to try really hard to film a little bit on the setup of Casper's birthday party for tomorrow. Uh, we've been working behind the scenes, very, very hard to make this birthday extra special for him because we know that with everything going on with uh, Felix, you know, it's just hard. You try to give each of your children exactly what they need when they need it. And sometimes uh, you have to give a little bit more here, a little bit less there, and you hope that it's understood that we love all of our children equally. It's just that um, what they require fluctuates from time to time and day to day and hour to hour at this point but yeah so that's it that's all I got for you today thank you for standing by thank you for sticking with me and uh please keep checking back because I will do my absolute best to keep everyone posted on how Mr. Felix is doing also massive shout out to anyone who donated to the GoFundMe my friend set up like I have no words I have no words over and out. I'll catch you on the next one.